Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's review slash tutorial is on the Morphe palette and this is the Artistry palette. It's got, it's 15 T. It's got 15 beautiful colors, um, matte and you have your mattes and shimmers. And if you want to learn how to achieve this look, just keep on watching. You don't have to hate. All right, so this video actually, some of it is going to be voiceover. You know what? All right. So the first color I am going to begin with is called Morphe Baby. This nice bright, oops, this nice bright ass orange. And that's going to go right on the brow bone. Second color, it's called Blend the Rules, which is another one. Both of them are like a pumpkin orange, except the first one is um, more matte and this one is frosted. And I'm just going to go over that and then bring it down like right the, in between the crease. Now this third color, I mean it's optional, it's actually a pigment from NYX and it's called Rust. This is it right here. Eh, I When I put it on, I actually applied it after I did the whole entire eye look. I just felt like it was washed out a little bit. Let me see. Hmm, maybe I'll wait as well. Yeah, I'll wait and see what it looks like instead. Alrighty, so next what we're going to do is we are going to cut the crease. And I am going to use my eye primer from MBA Cosmetics. And I'm only going to do like one third of the eye. I'm going to leave the outer corner as is. Like so, around like that. And then the next color I'm going to use, it's called Artist. It's this frosted lime green color. It's a very, very pretty color, but I don't know. It's It doesn't seem as pigment when I apply it, like you can tell. Like it's not coming as bright as what it is in the palette, as you can see. But I'm gonna put glitter over it so, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy trying to make it look like what it is in the palette. Alrighty. So this next color, it's called No Filter Needed. And this is a nice bronze right there. 
That one is frosted. And then for the outer corner, I went with throwback. Which is like in between like a red orange. And I'm using a crease brush. Simply because I want to get a very defined corner and I'm going to bring it in like three quarters into the eye and I'm gonna go like right in between the crease and just following the shape of the eye Alright, so I went over three quarter. I actually went all over the whole eye, so we'll do the same here. Alright, so next I am going to take uh, I'm gonna do the glitter pigment like I said from NYX. It washed out just a little bit. I don't know, just to intensify it a little bit. Just a little bit because it's very pigmented as you look at that so just a tidbit <sighs> ever so gently like just right here and look I, I it's a little bit too much I will um, get a brush and blend it in a little bit more in the meantime I am going to use a glitter pigment from eye candy and the color is called citrus twist and this is what it looks like before I apply it and I'm going to use it right over that um, lime green I normally use like setting spray or visine to apply it but um, today I am going to use the liquid sugar from eye candy. I only save this whenever I'm going to do like glitter on my lips, but I'm in a rush. Going out and um, this is what was there. So I don't have time to look for it. And here we go. So one thing I've learned about applying glitter pregnant Ooh, too much liquid on the brush. You're better off smoothing it. Ooh, fuck. What in the eye it is burning. <sighs> Whoa. See, I don't go through this with Bizane. But that's not the reason why I save it. I save it because it's a little more, it's costly a little bit. It, it just, when you put that sucker on your lips, the liquid, the, um, that liquid sugar with the glitter, like, it stays on almost all day long, all night long. All right, so 
you want to smooth it I used to like pat it but I find that when you pat it it has a tendency maybe of um, clumping up it doesn't apply equally and let it dry with the eyelid closed so that you don't get like a crease mark and also applying it by smoothing it over the eyelid as opposed to patting it you're going to get equal distribution of the glitter pigment Gonna let that dry. And while it's drying, I guess I can. And while it's drying, I guess I'm gonna tell you the rest. So I'm actually gonna come out of my comfort zone. I love eyeliner. I love liquid eyeliner on my eyelid. Black. Today, I am going to use this one from. Benefit Cosmetics, they're a real push-up liner, which by the way, I like the convenience. You just have to be very careful that you know how to use it because then you might waste some of um, the eyeliner in there. And this one is actually is in navy blue. And the way it and the way it works, you twist off the cap and at the bottom you twist the um so that the liquid can come out through this tip first and foremost when you're finished using the eyeliner you must clean it off because if not it gets stuck and then when you start swiveling up so that the liquid can come out um you'll have some pieces dry and then a whole bunch will come out you have to do it slowly and wait because sometimes as you're turning you're not seeing the liquid coming out however somewhere in there it's doing its thing unless of course it's finished so do it slowly okay so you see now I see a little bit come up I don't know if you can tell not enough though I'm gonna do two more clicks there it is there it is you have to wait and my dumbass I should have freaking waited because this here is not finished drying. I still feel it nice and cold. So, but I won't be wasteful and this doesn't dry out. I'll start here. Ooh, that sucker burns. Let me swivel it up again. Also, if you want like once the product comes out you could like put it on your hand and then just pick it up with the tip you don't want to get too much out because then it will clump up Okay guys, so as far as the eyes go, this is the finished look. Isn't it pretty? So I went, I did my foundation in powder foundation. I did Milani Conceal and Perfect, and this color is in amber. I don't care for this foundation. I will be getting rid of it. And then powder, this is new. This is from Hourglass, and it's the translucent setting powder veil. Um, I will be returning this don't care for it um, it's got a bunch of 
glitter specks. I was going to put another powder on top of it, but then it just be too much product on my face. So I'm hoping that when I set it with the setting spray, it'll, you know. But anyway, as far as blush goes, this is from the Saharan Blush Palette, Volume 2. I'm going to use that orange one there. I wish it had a mirror. Ooh, oh, picked up too much. You know, even though I don't often follow it, the rule of thumb for blush, it's always best to start from the back to the front so like that, the majority of the color could be deposited in the back. Let me um tone it down a little bit with my powder blush. So as far as highlighter goes, even though I already have something bright on my color, which is that um, glitter in the inner eye, I'm actually going to blend it a little bit. So I'm going to use two highlighters and they're both glitter highlighters. I'm gonna see what it's gonna look like. I've had them for a while. I've swatched them, but never used them. So one is from the Metal Crush palette and it's the Helix and it's this one right there. That one is white. I'm hoping that it does not mess up. The one complaint I have about glitter palette, glitter highlighters, is the fact that they're, they really aren't, there's not much pigmentation to it. Just a bunch of freaking glitter. And I don't know if this one is white or it's got like a hint of green. So all right, that's enough of that. I'm not gonna go over it with it anymore because it is really, I don't know. Oh my, I got powder all over my neck. All right, so then I'm gonna go now with Fenty, which is the Trophy Wife. Now this one is so pretty. The thing is, is that it's got a bunch of glitter. So you can see that one. That one is oh, to the highlighter gods. They're calling me, they're calling me. And they got me now. They don't got me now. And it's very pretty and I know I'm OD and but I like putting highlighter on my nose but when I have a bright ass highlighter on my face I actually opt to use something a little more subtle I'm gonna do a little bit more blush and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend both because it's too bright definitely And here we go. And this is it for blush and highlighter. I've got a bunch of glitter now all over my face, but because the powder that I used already had glitter in it, I'm gonna have to use another powder brush before I set it. And then lastly, let me decide what lipstick I want to use. So it's called Dominate. I like this one better. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'm done with this look. I'm out. This is what it is. Okay, so as far as the palette goes, let's do this. So, it's got the name, plastic container. I know you guys know, thumbs up for the mirror. Oh, I love all of these colors within this palette. 
I love them all. But I think I love it more just just looking at the palette than what it is on my when I apply it. It's so this is not my this is my second time using this palette and I find that some colors are very pigmented and others are slightly pigmented. I haven't come across I haven't used all of the colors um but yeah so some are pigmented some aren't and that's really my only complaint about it but other than that they serve well I bought, I bought it during Black Friday I forgot how much I got it for but if you already have a lot of makeup and you have colors similar to this palette I don't really recommend it because you want all of the colors to work for you if you're new you're adding to the collection if you don't mind struggling or maybe even foiling some of the colors so that they can show up on you by all means then go ahead and do it but there are plenty of other um, palettes or even just sold as singles that are com that are comparable in price if you want to get your money's worth versus the quality that's my only complaint about this palette but other than that I love the color combination in it and um, don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button and of course as always don't forget to unleash your makeup more inside of me ciao guys